think she can just support me in any way that we can, I promise. Just know that we're thinking of you and praying for you. We do pray something turns up soon. Yeah, you're welcome. All right, take care. God bless. Bye-bye. So, you must be Austin. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm Pastor Kent. Yeah, it's no problem. Great to meet you. Welcome to Clover Community Church. Things are normally a bit more lively around here, but things have been kind of difficult recently. Yeah, because of her or what's yeah. going on? Her name's Hope. The family's been part of the church, well, as long as I can remember. She's gone missing a couple of weeks ago and it's kind of shaken up the whole congregation. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. Why don't I show you around? All right. This here's the narthex. These are our main entrances where people enter. Yeah. It's important, since this is the first impression for most people, that that entrance is always really clean. Vacuum it, keep it dusted. Here at the end of the narthex is our bathrooms. The supplies are all in the closet in the last stall, so if we run out of anything, all your cleaning supplies, it's all right there, okay. whatever you need. How about I show you the main sanctuary? Okay. This here is the main sanctuary. Basic cleaning, vacuuming, wiping down the pews. On either end, we've got these big, beautiful glass walls. Wipe off all the handprints and stuff like that. For the stage, make sure the pulpits, the baptismal bowl, and the altar really look pristine. All the supplies you need are back behind the altar. Anything up there? No, you don't need to clean up there. We don't really use it much anymore. All that's really up there is the sound and lighting room. And so if there's any sound and lighting equipment you need, it's all up there. Oh, okay. So it sounds like you know the basics. Ready to start? I have a job. See anybody else here? No. Congratulations, you got a job. Thank you so much. When do I start? How about tonight? Me. What do you want, Austin? Just, uh, wondered how you were doing. How I'm doing? <laughs> how do you think I'm doing? Yeah, that was a stupid question. You ran off, Austin. I know. I'm sorry. You're always sorry. So, I got a job today. <sighs> Austin. It's gonna be different this time, I promise. It's at a church. I'm gonna stay committed. Let's stay there. I really like it, okay? Like you were committed to your previous job. Oh, and like how you were committed to getting help? And like how you were committed to us. I'm sorry I ran, okay? Believe me, I wish I would have stayed. I should have been there for you. You should have done lots of things, Austin. But that's your problem. You never do them. You run from them. Chloe, come on, that's not fair. I'm glad that you seem to be landing on your feet now, but I can't do this anymore. It's over. Chloe, please. Goodbye, Austin. are all the locks on the doors. Yep. So it's your first night. I am not expecting perfection, but if you have any questions, feel free to call or text. I don't think that's necessary. <laughs> that's the spirit. Don't forget to lock up on your way out. See you later. See you tomorrow.
Mr. Ken. Oh, that was fast. Eager to hear what I thought about your first cleaning? Well, it could be better, but I expected that on your first night. I think Hope's alive. What? You heard me. No, you're right. I did hear you. I just... What makes you think that? I saw her, Ken. Clear as day. She attacked me. I don't know what you think you saw, but there's no way she's there. We all searched everywhere. I'm holding a piece of her dress right now. Do you have any idea what happened to her? We don't know. You must know something. Was she crazy? Was she on drugs? Did she take anything? She started seeing and hearing things too before she vanished. Austin, maybe it's best that you take the night off to rest. But what did she see? She was under the impression that there was something evil lurking in the church. She came to me one day and told me about it. That it would follow her and consume her. You didn't do anything about it? It's a church, Austin. The Lord's house. There's no way that something like that could stand in the presence of the Lord. What if she was right? Austin, why don't you take the night off and get some rest? Don't worry about cleaning tonight. I'll close up and we can talk about this after you've had time to sleep. Crawl space and we can figure this out. I don't want to hurt you. It's okay. You're safe now. No, you don't understand. You. <laughs> something like that could stand in the presence of the Lord.
you're still in there. You fight this. You have people who love you, people who care about you. Fight for them, Hope. Please. You're safe. 